Hey guys, Little Eric 88 here. Um, back at you. I just watched UFC 155, so this is gonna be my thoughts and review, like I do with every pay per view, because I get all of them. So, um, um, this pay per view was uh pretty good. Um, it wasn't as good as uh, the last pay per view, uh, but it was a good pay per view. So, in my opinion, um, so, um, we get the f um we get the first uh battle tonight, which is Leonardo Garcia. Um, versus Max Holloway, um, a featherweight bout, um, this was a good, um, this was a, a good match, and, you know, it was, a, it was a three-round fight, so, you know, they were both going at it, but, um, Max Holloway ended up winning by unanimous decision, so, by split decision, actually, so, you know, one judge voted for each one, but, you know, in the end, it ended up being Max Holloway, so, yeah, but, we had a flyweight bout too. I think the flyweight was actually before the featherweight, but it was um, it was a uh, John Magoria versus Chris Carrizo. I don't know how to pronounce the names, but um, it ended up it was going. They were in the third round. It's flyweight. Um, you know, I was going for Chris because um, you know he was, he's a pretty good fighter. So I was going for Chris, but he ended up getting it to mission uh. So, but he ended up, John Morga ended up submitting him with a guillotine in the third round. So, you know, sucks for him, but that's okay. So, then we had um, Todd Duffy versus Phila D. Fries, or whatever. And this is a heavyweight belt. Um, well, um, you know, TK on the first round. So, you know, it wasn't that big. He knocked him out, TK, whatever you want to call it, but he knocked him out in the first round. So, that's pretty much it. Um, what are you doing? Okay. Anyways, then we have a lightweight bell. Roxy, what are you doing? Oh, okay. that alone. Okay, I'm sorry. So we had a lightweight bell. Um, so it was a, uh, it was um, Miles Miley's Miley's jury versus Michael Johnson. Um, I didn't really care, you know. Another one I didn't really care. Um, but um, Miley's jury or whatever his name is ended up winning by unanimous decision in the third round. So, whatever. Then we have another lightweight bout, which is Melvin Gillard versus Jamie Varner. I was definitely going for Melvin Gillard because I like him. You know, he's a really trained fighter. I thought he was going to go into this and beat him. But, you know, Jamie Varner ended up winning by split decision. So, you know, sucks for Melvin Gillard because he's a pretty good fighter. Um, then we had a bantamweight match, which was um, which was um, Bright... By Byron Bloodworth versus Eric Perez. So, um, of course, I don't. I didn't really know these fighters that much. So I was just going for Eric because it's the same name as me. So I was like, hey, let's go for Eric. But you know, he Eric Perez ended up winning by uh, KO Tico in the first round. So, you know, that was pretty good. Then we had another bantamweight match, which was Brad Pickett versus Eddie Winlin. Well, I like Brad Pickett because you know I like his nickname, the One Punch, uh, One Punch Pickett. Um, so I was going for Brad Pickett, but Eddie Winland ended up winning. I didn't really care because, you know, I like Brad Pickett, and I had I like Eddie Winland, but he's okay. But he ended up um, beating him by split decision in the third round. Um, then we have um, a middleweight, which was um, Chris, Le Chris Lieben versus uh, Derek Brunson. Um, you know, I don't think I know this Derek Brunson guy, but, you know, he looked familiar. So I was, I was going for Chris Lieben. And, um, Derek Brunson ended up winning by a unanimous decision in the, um, just unanimous decision. So, that was pretty cool. So, yeah. Um, so after that, we have, um, another, another middleweight bout, which is, um, Alan Belcher versus Yushin Okami. Um, I was going for Yushin Okami. He's, he's, he's a good fighter. Um, but I didn't really, I'm, I don't really care about Alan Belcher, but um, Yushin Okami ended up winning by uh, a unanimous decision and uh, unanimous decision. So, you know, good job for Yushin Okami. All these are going like for 
unanimous decision or something like that. Then we have Tim Bocci versus I have no idea how to pronounce his last his name is like Constantisha to Philip you I I don't know. <laughs> but um I was I like Tim, you know, he knocked he he's a good fighter and he can throw people around. But you know um ba 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 the other guy ended up knocking him out, aka TK or whatever in round three, so that was okay. Um, then we have Joe Lawson versus, uh, Jim Miller, the coming event of the evening, the lightweight bout. Um, I was going for Joe, uh, Jim Miller, actually. Um, I like Joe Lawson, but I was actually kind of going for Jim Miller, because Jim, Jim Miller's a, he's a, he's a beast, man. So, you know, that was pretty good. Uh, he attended in, uh, the UFC on Fox a few we weeks back when the, when Vincent and Nate fought, so that was pretty cool. Um, but, yeah, anyways, uh, Jim Miller actually ended up winning by unanimous decision. All the a lot of these were unanimous decision. All right. Then we finally have the main event of the evening, which is Cain Velasquez versus Junior Dos Santos. Um, I was pretty disappointed the first time when Cain got he didn't even get knocked out. It's like if you watch back, like he got he his arm came around his neck and like he just fell down and then he got you know he just got TKO. So I was like, yeah, Cain Cain's gonna whoop him. And surprisingly, Kane was whooping him. He got 210 strikes out of, and Junior Dos Santos only got 66. I mean, I knew Kane was going to come back and whoop him after what happened. I knew he was going to be ready. He said he was. He was right. He was out there. Um, he, he took him down a few times. He knocked him down one time, actually. Junior Dos Santos never knocked him down. But, you know, unanimous decision for Kane. Kane ended up winning. I was so happy. I was like, yeah, dude, Kane had, Kane had that whole fight, so... That was pretty good. So, my thought of this is, um, one out of a ten, I'd give it about a seven, seven and a half, um, because it was not as good as the last pay per view, but it was really good, and um, it was a it was a good fight. That last fight, there was some pretty good bouts, but you know, still, I still like the other pay per view better. So, yeah, um, guys, that's it. Thank you for watching. Um, stay tuned for more UFC stuff. I'll do UFC one fifty six. And uh, I will see you guys later. Bye.